नाउ द टाइटल ऑफ द फर्स्ट एक्ट एक्ट इज द जेम्स आर लेफ्ट बिहाइंड ठीक है इट्स वेरी इजी जेम्स आर लेफ्ट मतलब कुछ जेम्स को छोड़ दिया जाएगा वसंत सेना के द्वारा चारू दत्ता के घर पे एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू यू नो दैट विल ब्रिंग वसंत सेना क्लोजर टू चारू दत्ता है ना तो एक्ट वन स्टार्ट्स एंड चारू दत्ता हु इज विद इन हिज हाउस कन्वर्सेस विथ हिज फ्रेंड मैथ्रिया एंड डिप्लोर्स हिज पॉवर्टी सो मैथ्रिया इज द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर दैट दैट इज Uh, that are introduced in this particular play and maitreya comes to his friend's house jo ki uska friend ka naam kya hai charu datta theek hai to he is talking about his friend ki how poor he has become because there was a time when charu datta used to be very rich so uh, what i will uh, what i want you to do is stop this video and zoom out or i will provide you this pdf and you can read this uh, first statement and just i will read it here see maitreya says Did you must invite some of the brahmin i am busy and yet i really ought to be seeking invitations from the stranger oh what a rich state of affairs when god charudatta when good charudatta was still wealthy you see so there was a time when charudatta was a wealthy person but now he says i used to eat my fill of the most delicious uh, deliciously fragrant sweetness prepared day and night which means ki there was a time when uh you know when uh, there was a lot of food at charudatta's house but it's no longer there it's no longer the same case because charudatta is no longer a rich person hai na wo kafi poor ho chuka hai so the play starts with something uh, jisme ki jo main character hai hai na he is a middle class he belongs to a middle class family he is no longer a rich person and then while they are speaking vasant sena appears in the street outside she is persuaded by the courtier and the sansthanaka so sansthanaka is a uh is kings uh kings relish he is a, he is in relation with kings and he is a very royal person aur kahani mein kya hota hai ki there is a there is a there is a two story unfolding together or you can say there is a two scene hai na two scene happening all together so pehla jo scene hai wo charu datta ke ghar ke andar ho raha hai so charu datta ke ghar ke andar charu datta and his friend they are conversing they are talking to each other hai na how uh हाउ वेल्दी चारू दत्ता यूज टू बी और उसके बाहर स्ट्रीट है स्ट्रीट पर क्या हो रहा है कि जो वसंत सेना है सी इज़ एक्चुअली कमिंग फ्राम सामवेयर और उसके पीछे काफ़ी सारे लोग पीछे पड़े हुए हैं है ना चार वसंत सेना के पीछे पड़े हुए हैं सो यू कैन सिंपली अंडरस्टैंड दिस इन दिस वे कि जैसे स्पेशली बिहार में तो काफ़ी होता है एंड इन मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लेसेस सो सुंदर लड़कियों के पीछे बहुत सारे लड़के पीछे पीछे जाते रहते हैं सो दिस इज़ द टिपिकल केस हेयर एज वेल सो चारू दत्ता इसी वसंत सेना इज बेसिकली अ प्रॉस्टिट्यूट है ना सी इज़ अ कोर्शन एंड इसके पीछे एंड सी इज़ ऑल्सो वेरी ब्यूटिफुल सो इसके पीछे काफ़ी लोग पड़े हुए हैं इवन कोर्ट के कुछ लोग पड़े हुए हैं एंड संस्थान का इज ऑल्सो देयर सो संस्थान का इज गोइंग टू बी आवर विलन है ना तो संस्थान का इज ऑल्सो देयर एंड Uh, and she is very afraid that you know something might happen to her aur usi samay she sansthan ka makes her degrading offers of his love which she indignantly rejects matlab ki sansthan ka he keeps on you know uh, persuading that you know i love you i love you but uh, you know vasant sena is basically uh, she is very strong woman and she is saying saying no i do not love you at all and she is uh, indignantly rejecting you know keep rejecting his uh, proposal theek hai fir kya hota and we will also see the some text the original text है ना सो वॉट हैपन संस्थान का अच्छा संस्थान का इज ऑल्सो वेरी कॉमिक कैरेक्टर है बिकॉज द वे संस्थान का इज गोइंग टू यू नो स्पीक इज इज वेरी लाफबल एंड आई 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 विल शो यू हाउ सो यू सी द स्पेलिंग ऑफ स्टॉप सो स्टॉप वी विल स्टॉप राइट वी स्टडी स्टॉप बट इज ए स्टॉप स्टॉप वसंत सेना स्टॉप यू वेक माई पैशन माई डिजायर माई लव यू ड्राइव अवे माई स्लिप यू सी स्लिप नॉट स्लिप इन बेड एट नाइट both fear and terror seem your heart to move you trip up stumble in your headlong flight but ravana's force kunti to his will just so shall i enjoy to your fill so now he is actually persuading uh, vasant sena that you know that how much i love you how much i desire you and he is giving uh, a description of you know mahabharata and uh, ramayana all together which means it says that you know he is not a learned person he is not that intel- intellectual he hasn't read much so he is simply trying to you know uh give all he has and uh, uh yeah in a funny way and then vasant sena is very afraid because uh, it's not the sansthanika but also there are another man you know they are actually following her so she is very afraid and she says pallava ka pravartika so she is actually calling her friends her calling her mates you know so that you know they can uh, save her you know from the from these men so and then she says madhavika madhavika 
and then vashan sena is actually when no one actually hears her when no one actually says anything to her then she says that you know then she feels that she is alone she is all alone and she is going to fight alone so she says that seeing that no one answers uh, her request las how come it that my very servant have fallen away from me i shall have to defend myself by mother's wit now she feels that she is alone on the street and she is going to defend herself all alone hai na so this is a very uh, typical like you know scene where we find that there is a beautiful woman and men are actually crawling towards her men are actually you know approaching her you know and they are trying to you know, persuade persuade her you know to become uh, his wife or girlfriend whatever so kahani ke aage then vasan sena says she stops because now she is alone and she is uh, trying to you know uh, kind of fight with uh, not fight but she is trying to confront confront you know the guy she says that sir i am a weak woman please do not do anything to me i am a weak person you know uh, but then courtier says that is why you are still alive so now you see how uh you know the way the the, the story is unfolding it's like coach is saying you are weak that's why we are we are not killing you hai na and then sultan ka says this is why we are not you are not murdered otherwise i mean the way sultan ka is trying to say this particular statement itself says that you know he is a very powerful person and uh, he might kill her you know if he wants but he is not killing her because he feels that you know she is a weak person and there is also a contradiction the way i said ki i am going to give you a critical approach Uh, to this particular play, so its main critical approach is that the way women were seen in that particular time, that women have always been a weak character. Anywhere, if you read Western Western literature, if you read uh, Shakespearean drama, if you read uh, you know Renaissance, Elizabethan drama, any drama, you will find that women were always like a weak weak character, and they used to faint all the time. And a faint means to fall down, to be murdered, kind of. Even in Ramayana, you will find uh, women basically they faint quite a lot. in the same uh, same here you know uh, also she is not a very uh, weak person she is a very strong person and then vasan sena replies oh his courts his courtesy frightens me come i will try this sir what do you expect from this pursuit my jewels so she is she is trying to you know uh, make her point that you know do you want my jewel do you want uh, money what do you want please leave me alone you know what do you want then uh, courtier says heaven forbid a garden creeper mistress uh vasan sena should not be robbed of its bosom blossoms say no more about the jewels now the courtiers is of course the courtiers are rich person they he is saying that do not say much more uh, we are not here to you know like take your jewels or take your money we are not here for the money then vasan sena says what is then what do you desire what do you want then sansthan ka says i am a man a big man a regular vashudeva you see the vashudeva vashudeva is basically a krishna that's why we call it vasudeva kutumbakam something like that so vasudeva is a krishna someone who who glorifies love because when we talk about krishna we talk about love right uh ha so he is actually you know putting himself as a as a as, as if he is a krishna you know he he loves uh, uh this uh, vasant sena now he says you must love me you see again must the way the must is pro- this is must but the way must is uh, uh pronounced here it's it's it's, it's it, it brings a comic effect now he says you must love me so he's actually trying to force her you know to love him and then vashan sena says uh, heaven you weary me come leave me your words are insult so she finds that you know his words are not uh, good at all you know he's actually insulting her uh then this one courtier he says what is possible that the idiot does not understand so even courtier thinks that uh, this sansthanaka is an he's an idiot and and this is a very comic scene this is a very funny scene if if you find uh, a a a full video especially if someone has made this nataka on this particular play hai na bahut sare theaters theaters hain jaise delhi theater hai hai na they actually perform these kind of plays and if you if you are lucky to find you know such plays you know such performance then please do check it out hai na to zyada acha lagega and uh, also i would urge you to read this particular play it's very beautiful play it's very beautifully written and then it says uh, courtier says what is it is it possible that the idiot does not understand when she says you weary me so so in a way in a way even courtier understand that sansthan ka is a is a, is a, is a very dummy person he is a very is an idiot now vasan sena you words have no place in the dwelling of a courtesan so since he is a courtesan courtesan someone i said that someone who is a prostitute hai na lekin she is a higher kind of prostitute hai na uh, also she is a very wealthy person so he is saying ki courtesan jo hota hai unka bolne ka koi hak nahi hai 
this is how you know the society treats uh, a prostitute back in those days even today they they treat differently now uh, see he's simply saying that you know you have no words you can't say anything because you are you are a prostitute hai na and then he says which as you know is friend to every youth remember you are a common as a flower that grows beside the root in a bitter truth now he is comparing her to something like a flower that that is bitter like something uh, some you know like a common flower jo ki kahin bhi road pe bikhra pada milta hai na there is a different kind of flower jo ki bahut prestigious hote hain jaise rose rose har jagah nahi milta so he is saying he is simply saying that you know you 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 not a you're not a different you're not a prestigious person you're simply a prostitute and uh, and you're friend to everyone you know you're friend to every youth which means ki uh, you can you can become friend to anyone because you're a prostitute you are you are no one's lover kind of you know are you getting my point now uh, he further says your body has its price your beauty's dower is it now he's saying your body has a price because it's obvious that she is a prostitute and she gets she gets paid for for her sexual you know uh, uh, whatever she she gives uh, to men right so for that she is she is getting paid so so, so that this is why he says that your body has a price uh, because you because you are not a righteous person hai na and uh, you sell your body for for money kind of and then he says who pays the market's current rate the serves the man you love and him you hate now he says whoever serves you whoever gives you money whoever you know pays you uh, you actually serves them so you are you are of no use because because you you whatever you do is basically your uh, entire life is based upon the market current because because people will come and pay you and then you have to respect them otherwise you don't respect to person you know who doesn't have money at all so you are simply a worthless person this is what uh, the courtier says and then uh, this is basically the original text that i'm reading and in front of you and i'm trying to make you understand you know what kind of uh, you know uh, what kind of play this is because this is a prakarna you know this play has so much to offer this play will give you a brief uh, like a, 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 you know a deep you know understanding of that particular time like how people were behaving how you know uh, people will how you know the the people were coexisting in that particular time now aage kya hota hai ki vasan sena you true now she is actually defending herself she is saying no uh, uh, the true love is basically uh, 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 it has no violence at all but then sansthanaka replies and he says that but master ever since the slave wretch went into the park where kama kama's temple stand she has been in love with a poor man with charudatta she doesn't love me anymore his house is the left his house is to the left look out and don't let her slip out of hands now you see how dumb he is uh, so he knows that uh, she loves charudatta and everybody knows that and uh, so he is also saying that you know we have come to the place where Char- it's it's near the charudatta's house and uh, and he is saying that you know please don't let her go away because she might run into charudatta's house so he is actually uh, kind of telling uh, the court the courtier that you know uh, do not let her go hai na but but how dumb he is <laughs> look at it how dumb he is he is actually uh, giving her a kind of idea that you know she can uh, she can run away from 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 this particular situation without unknowingly right now this courtier he says poor fool he said the very thing he should have conceded which means नहीं बोलना चाहिए था बट ही सेड इट यू नो नाउ सी कैन यू नो रन अवे इन चारदत्ता हाउस एंड दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स इन द प्ले एंड देन आई विल रीड फ्रॉम हियर सो संस्थान का सेज येस हिज हाउस इज द लेफ्ट नाउ हीज ऑल्सो सेंग दैट हिज हाउस इज टू द लेफ्ट नाउ एंड देन वसंत सिन्हा सेज ओ वंडरफुल इफ हिज हाउस इज रियली एट माई लेफ्ट हैंड देन देन द सॉन्ड्रल हैज हेल्प मी इन द वेरी एक्ट ऑफ हर्टिंग मी Uh, for he has guided me to my love now she is accepting it that you know she she is in love with uh, charudatta and also she says uh, she feels safe now because uh, she can uh, she has a way now she can run away into the charudatta's house so she is saying uh, she is happy now she is like uh, she is not that much concerned that you know any nothing is going to happen to her she knows that because she she feels very safe so th- you see love is something that uh, that is not da- dangerous you know you feel safe uh, with with you know with your company like you know whoever your company is you feel when whenever you feel safe you feel that you you are in love that is that is one way of looking at love right anyway now uh, charudatta sends maitreya so at the same time uh, now we have come in the uh, come into the house like you know ab jo scene hai ye ghar ka scene hai किसके घर का सीन है चारुदत्ता के घर का सीन है वेयर मैत्री एंड चारुदत्ता वेयर 
uh, talking to each other right so now charudatta he sends maitreya from the house to offer sacrifice and through the open door vasansena slips all unobserved into the house so what happens when charudatta sends uh, maitreya outside the house you know to, just to bring some sacrifices and everything uh, at the same time you know uh, she slips into the house you know because the door was open so she slips into the house and this is how she came into uh, charudatta's house and then maitreya returns after an altercation with sansthanaka and recognize vasansena so and then what happens is that he sees uh, sansthanaka and uh, and then he came back he had some kind of a conversation with sansthanaka but he didn't do much uh, there he didn't you know converse much there and then he came back he came inside the house and then vasansena leaves a casket of gems now we will uh, try to read some uh, some text so you will understand you know you will get more holes to this particular play so sansthanaka but master what makes you fold your hands so hopelessly and fall into the feet of mankin so now he is saying uh, of mannikin now he is saying uh, what made you like you know why are you holding your hands the courtier says i was afraid now you see uh, there is a there is a very critical uh, you know way of looking at this particular play here because because this is a charudatta's house and people love charudatta even the courtier even the king everybody loves charudatta because of his uh, greatness because the the way this person is the the how how kind how virtuous this man is right so this is why he says that you know why are you afraid sansthanaka is asking why are you afraid because because you are a royal man we are a royal man still and you must be thinking since these people are royal person and still he is afraid in front of charudatta's house in front of charudatta's friend so then sansthanaka says what are you afraid of he is asking what are you afraid of then courtier says of charudatta's virtue you see this is a very uh, important line he is saying that he is afraid of charudatta's virtue because he is a virtuous person charudatta is a very virtuous person and uh, people actually admire charudatta a lot and the entire society the entire you know state loves charudatta and because of his virtue everybody is admires him and then sansthanaka says virtue he you can go into the houses and not find a thing to it now sansthanaka is so dumb you you see sansthanaka is saying if you go inside the charudatta's house you won't find anything at all because he doesn't have anything to it he is a very poor person but you see virtue is stronger virtue is more powerful than a money than than what money can buy right so, i mean sometimes we always say that you know money uh, that uh, love is bigger than money or there is so many things that you cannot buy with money right so this is what uh, everybody knows that virtue is greater than the greater than the love but this sansthanaka is a is a dumb person and he doesn't believe in it <laughs> at all right now the courtier says no no now he is giving the uh he is giving a description of charudatta what kind of person a charudatta is now we will see see he says his loving kindness unto such as we has brought him low at last from him could no man learn what insults be or eerie or, or eerie his wealth was passed this well filled pool that in the summer day gave others drink itself dried away now he is saying jaise ki uh, हैव यू सीन अ पूल समर के दिन में कैसे पूल मतलब सूख जाता है बिकॉज बिकॉज इट्स अब सो मैनी पीपल इट्स अब सो मैनी एनिमल्स बिकॉज एनिमल्स जो हैं वो पूल में जाके यू नो पानी पीते हैं और समर के समय वो ड्राई हो जाता है सो दिस इज वट ही सी इज कंपेयरिंग चारू दत्ता विथ यू नो विथ अ पॉन्ड विथ अ स्मॉल पॉन्ड एंड ही सी इज दैट पॉन्ड नेवर यू नो फील्स दैट यू नो ही इज गिविंग अवे सो इन द सेम वे चारू दत्ता इज गिविंग अवे ऑल हिज मनी ही इज ही हैज़ गिवन सो मच टू द पीपल दैट नाउ ही हैज़ बिकम वेरी पुअर है ना और उसके ऊपर इसकी इस बात का घमंड भी नहीं है दिस इज हाउ गुड ही इज एंड देन ही सेज संस्थान का इम्पेशेंटली सेज हु इज द शन सो ही इज टॉकिंग द सन हु इज द शन ऑफ श्लेव रिच एनी वे नाउ ही सिंग हु इज दिस पर्सन एनी वे वट कैन अ पर्सन ही इज एंड देन कोचर से इज फूल नाउ यू सी ही कीप सेंग हिम फूल बिकॉज ही इज दिप ही इज बेसिकली दिस संस्थान का इज बेसिकली अ फूल पर्सन एंड देन ही सेज फूल i will tell you who charudatta is now he is going to tell who charudatta is actually he says a tree of life to them whose sorrows grow beneath now he is talking about you know he's a he's, it's a philosophical line you see he is saying that he's a tree of life you know it gives so much life to other person like in the same way if you see tree has different different branches and each branches grows and uh, it brings a lot of you know food uh in the spring time so it's his more like a spring kind of tree so that brings a lot of food and uh, you know it doesn't even think about itself so in the same way 
he is a tree of life and beneath its fruit of virtues bending low fathers to good man virtues touch stone uh, he matlab he is a father to good man he is a father to good man he is basically like a father figure and he gives uh, virtue he gives everything to everybody you know whatever if you need something he he is there for you kind of person and then he says the mirror of the learned and the see and he is also the mirror of the learned if someone is learned they actually seek his kind of you know knowledge and also wear all the tides of character and tide a righteous man whose pride could never blight a treasure house with human virtues stored courtesy essence honor precious hoard you see the courtesy essence honor everything he has all the good qualities that a man should be you know he's more like a he's he's more like a rama so if you read ramayana so rama ram is also this kind of person you know he he's a very virtuous person he gives everything uh, to everybody so in the same way he is also the same so that that's that's the end of the video uh, that's the end of the first act uh, now we will uh, look at the second act in the next video okay i hope you understood this this particular part and i would really urge you to go and read this particular text if you don't have it then please join my telegram channel or my whatsapp channel or my whatsapp group i will provide you all the pdfs and uh, i hope you study it and i hope you enjoy watching my videos and if you like it then please share it with your friends and see you in the next one